today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's week nine of the NFL on EA Sports. and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Josh Allen and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? Takes it at the seven. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. Leading them out, their quarterback in his fourth season from North Carolina, it's Mitchell Trubisky. And no excitement unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So... I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. And bottom line, how do they get a win? Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. Now Trubisky on first down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three at the 40-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Taken down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Brings up third down. Out of the gun. Trubisky. And that's caught by Beasley. That's good. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. It's complete to Jerron Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. On first and 10, it's Trubisky dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. 20! Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. A gain of 24 more yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. In the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The sack by Terrell Suggs. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Trubisky to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. And out of bounds right around the 20. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. 
everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. The kick by Bass is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. Cowboys 3, Steelers nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. That catch good for only a couple. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. On first down, Allen. That escapes the sack, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Rick Sheldon Richardson. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Allen to the left side here for Eifert. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. But it brings up. Throwing is Allen on third. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Khalil Mack able to record his fifth sack of the season. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The ball carrier. He's at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. That's good for the Cowboys. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. The ball carrier. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of three. On second and seven, Trubisky. And he finds the tight end, Reed. Trubisky's pass. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and two. Third and two. Now Trubisky. And Beasley with it over the middle. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 36. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. Now the ball comes loose. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. The ball carrier. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. It's a game of two. From the shotgun is Trubisky. 
And that is incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that'll make it 6 nothing here in the first. So put three on the board. A little bit of a hook on the driver that time. Looked a little bit like you, Charles, over on the eighth at Windermere. <laughs> you know me too well, partner. Except that he got his to hit a tree and kick back into the fairway. set on the return. The Steelers take over first and ten. At their own. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen's throw is complete, and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A gain of five brings up second On second down now, it's Carson, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. Seven, and the Steeler first down. This is Carson. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. The tackle made back at his 48-yard line. Six-nothing, our score after one. The score, Cowboys six, Steelers nothing. Second and 12. From the gun, it's Allen. He finds Dorsett, it's complete. Allen's pass. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. A gain of four, and it's third down. Allen on third down. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Allen's pass. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now their two drives thus far both led to points, albeit both field goals, so the lead just six to nothing, but the ability to move the ball is evident. Well, that's, you know, heartening as they say, but it's not what they're about. What they're about is putting the ball in the end zone and putting sixes on the board. So if you're the offensive coordinator, you like what you're doing, but you don't love it. You've got to find a way to ring that bell. Then you can have a little self-satisfied grin. Right now, a little more determination is needed. Number 30, five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. At the 38-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the 38, Trubisky forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Brings up third and one. On third and one, it's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? 
It's a gain of Facing eight. a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now it's Carson. And he stopped immediately there. The ball carrier. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And it brings up Allen going to try and throw on third down. Completes it to Samuel. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. First down, Pittsburgh. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz, the intended target. And now it's second down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Dylan Cole. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal at the three-yard line. Try to punch it in with Eckler. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Eckler, the ball no carrier. gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. At the line of scrimmage. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. At the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Austin Eckler, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. He's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Take over first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Sheldon Richardson able to record his fifth sack of the season. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. After the sack on first down, Allen to the left side here for Eifert. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run it with Carson. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. The handoff to Chris Carson. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Here's Carson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. 
Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? On third down, Allen, man, open, it's Cup. He's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Steeler first down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 28. And the Steelers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Makes the score Cowboys 13, Steelers 3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Steven Nelson able to get a hand in in coverage. He was covered by Steven Nelson. Second and 10 now, it's Trubisky. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. He'll get this to Eckler. And he loses the football a second time. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Fumble on the play. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. It's, oh, it's out. McKinnon fumbled it. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover, and they will indeed hold on to the ball. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Samuel, incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And ball security has been a big issue. You see the numbers there. He's fumbled twice already. And whenever we talk about ball security, it's not simply how you're holding the ball when you run it, 
It's all the other things that you do. Is it in the proper arm, meaning the sideline is protecting you? Are you dipping a shoulder to protect the ball as well? And obviously, the four points of pressure to make sure it's tucked firmly against your body so people can't pop it out. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Now Trubisky on first down. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Trubisky. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And that gonna be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's a game they face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Trubisky to throw again. On the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL here on this first day of November. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it's been Mitchell Trubisky, who's looked sharp thus far. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And the half will begin with a touchback. Back now comes the offense. Madden spotlight time as we shine it on Josh Allen. And what would you say? Is it the offensive line that has caused a lot of this pressure to get back there? That's always the first place that you have to look to see what's going on. But part of it is it is so difficult to simulate this type of pass rush in practice because the speed, the ferocity, the quickness, some of the change-ups and in, in, in how they get at the quarterback that you may not have seen on film, all that is different. You can practice it as much as you want to. You can even insert smaller, faster guys at positions to show that the speed's going to be quicker. But until the whistle blows and you play for real, it's just not the same. And not as easy to implement on game day. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And it's third down to throw on third down. Allen, and he took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. Incomplete. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened, having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They were losers to Philadelphia a week ago. Now they find themselves in the lead as they start this drive. They started on the ground with Eckler. 
And he'll get this one up to the 26. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Tackle made by Lawrence Guy. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Trubisky. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Jordan Reed has it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Running on first down, Eckler. A gain of three, second down. The ball carrier. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. He was taken down by DeForest Buckner. A two-yard pickup brings up third and On third six. down, Trubisky. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Boys. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now it's Trubisky. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. When I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. He's brought down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. First down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now whistles here before the snap, but it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Caught by the tight end Ertz. Allen's pass. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there. And now it'll be third down. No gain on the play. On play action. Allen. And that is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Mike 
On the ground, it's Eckler. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. First down, and they stick with Eckler. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third and six. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Trubisky is passed. Intended for Amari Cooper. Incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 23 yards. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing now is Allen, and he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. A 40-yard punt given three on the return, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Eckler. That's good for a Cowboys. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Eckler. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. The ball carrier, Nick Kwiatkowski, there on the tackle. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second. On second and seven. Trubisky on the left side. He finds Beasley. Trubisky's pass complete to Cole Beasley. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and three. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Trubisky will throw. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Back now in Arlington. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the court? Into a double team, and it's intercepted. The rookie Jordan Brooks picks it off. And the field position doesn't get much better than this. They'll have it first and goal at the eight-yard line. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Gardner forgets starting inside the red zone. 
They're inside the green zone. From the 10-yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And really, you can't have a better situation than this. First and goal at the one. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. After the interception, here's Trubisky. On the screen, this is Eckler. No gain on the screen there at second down. But that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Steps away. And he's going to keep it. And the Cowboys are in the end zone for the touchdown. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long, and there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got to start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat him. And the lead is up to 14. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Returnable for Dorsen. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Complete to Chris Carson. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Six. Brings up second and four at the 30-yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. Open man is Samuel. Complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. And the Steeler first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again. Allen. And he comes back with one complete. Allen's pass. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Allen to throw once more. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. Allen's pass. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Nine yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Allen. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Complete to Curtis Samuel. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. At the Cowboys. And again, it's Allen. Screen play, McKinnon. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. Throwing is Allen on third. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So he remains perfect, three for three, in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. It's Eckler again. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, a pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. The Steelers take over first and ten. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. A throw complete to Dorsett, and he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. To throw, it's Allen. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Allen's pass. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pick. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Allen's throw is complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Eight yards on the pickup. Now a give right side. Carson. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Chris Carson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Here's Allen. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Complete to Amari Cooper. A gain of nine. Brings up Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Going on the ground with Eckler. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That's good. 
good for our Cowboys. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Cowboys, the good pick up there, 22. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And just like that, it's third down. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He'll get this to Eckler. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free football, couldn't we? Yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Second down and 10. He'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Allen. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Looking for the end zone. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not. you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. The previous play is and applause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. Chris Boswell on for the point after. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. It is good. Boswell good with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. 
How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. He's back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Again, it's Trubisky. Slide, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Trubisky to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and it's third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards. Here's Trubisky. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Now it's Trubisky. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, Somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right? That reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points. Defense held them. And lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So for the Steelers, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, the turnaround hasn't materialized as they fall to 2-7. And, and they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.